3, 2, 1, go. Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel, Double Trouble in Asia. So guys, for today's news, we're going to talk about what happened really between me and Chris. But all I know for now is the Double Trouble is finally back, which is my partner. So rolling to you, my love. Guess who's back? <laughs> back, back again. again. I thought that was going to be corny, but I still decided to do it. Yeah, so I don't know where to start. Me and Benji, a real love story. Can't live with this girl and can't live without this girl. So, I don't know. How, how long were we really broke up, Benji? I think that total, total silence was maybe almost three weeks. And then we slowly still started communicating something like that when i was back home so yeah here we are everything in life is a trade-off right so you can't have a perfect situation you can't have a perfect scenario i don't know we're not gonna go into too much detail but um an Estonian man is someone who wants a fair trade, who wants equalness, so to speak. And as a high value man who I consider myself to be, I want respect and um, while well, during our breakup or during our time together, I maybe felt that I wasn't getting the respect that I needed. and. Uh, and I was uh, also returning what I got. So uh, that was my opinion why we broke up and then she has her own opinion, but we've um, come to the conclusion that uh, there just isn't a better match out there. So so here we are. And uh, like I said, it's a real love story, baby, right? Yeah, I mean, me and Chris were together for about one year and something, so you know we create a real band from their love and it's just not a simple relationship because as you all know we got engaged so it was a hardcore when we broke up and i thought it was really the end you know like i even don't eat when we broke up that i need my mom to come to ball to support me and cook food for me because i don't like to eat you know and then um there's just things between me and chris that as he said we're not gonna talk in details to it. We just come to the point that, you know, I became very toxic myself, and then we didn't understand each other anymore. I couldn't move on to the past that we have. You know, it's very easy for me to get triggered, and it's easy for me to always pick a fight with Chris. So there's no day that we don't, you know, like fight to the point he got tired, I got tired, and then, you know, like, the option would be like you know to quit or to be in our separate ways it, it's not the easiest path that's for sure and then it even become to the po point that you know i i me myself i went to cebu to meet up with one of our subscriber here i won't say any name because i thought really it's the end and i'd be like you know like okay and wh what i'm gonna do next you know maybe go on dates which is a bad move of mine because why i'm going you know from a freshly broken up relationship to another one so you know me myself i went to cebu and then just a minute i knew that you know there's no connection between me and that guy i would say that guy is fairly successful enough for himself but it also made me realize that there's no man in this earth that I would rather to be with, but Chris. So I guess it's a lesson for me to, you know, to value what I have, to value Chris. And, you know, it's, it felt like I don't need nothing in this world, but, you know, I'm very happy whenever I'm with Chris. Although sometimes we're messed up, but I'm, 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 I'm happy with where am I, I am today. Sure, sure. And in all fairness, I did my due diligence as well. Um, during that time, I went to Manila to Manila to uh, Angeles. To, <laughs> but nothing, nothing happened. You know, 
it's fine to go and have a look around and to realize what uh, you might be losing or, or you might be gaining or something like that. And um, I also realized that although there are other options available for both of us, then um, uh, there's no better, no better trade-off than uh, Vanji to me. So I guess we really started missing each other. So bad. And, uh, and we want to make this together and we have these common things together like this YouTube. It's like our little baby here that we're growing together. And um, well, look, we made a certain set of rules that we have to follow now. Are we out from deep waters? Well, I mean, not really. It's We're still taking it day by day, but hopefully we learned the lessons now that, you know, love is not enough always. And we do have love, but you need to work on a relationship every day. And uh, that's what we're gonna try to do now because we don't want this to end. We both agreed that we don't want this to end. So, so we're taking some action. One of my required requirements was that I've never gone to couples counseling or, or never gone to professional help in my life. So just in case, although we're really doing good at the moment for the last some time, <laughs> Uh, then uh, just to make things sure and just to try to guarantee our relationship success I think once a month to go to couples counseling just to have a checkup so to speak is only healthy so we're gonna try to do it the grown-up way and uh, well look my biggest problem was that when we did have a disagreement or an argument Vanji goes silent she goes just silent so even if I you know, show her the facts straight up, what's going on and how it is. And if she's running out of arguments, she prefers to not swallow her ego, but prefers to just go silent. And silence means that we are not getting closer to a solution or a resolution. Uh, we're just stuck. So that was my concern. So. One of these rules that I said that in this new beginning, uh, there will be no silence whatsoever. There will be no going to sleep, um, not holding each other or f not facing each other. Um, whatever concerns may arise, and they will arise, considering my temperament and considering Vanji's temperament and youth, um, considering my childhood upbringing and considering Vanji's childhood upbringing, there's definitely issues, um, but we will resolve them during that same day, during that same night. We won't let it rot and uh, we will never, ever, ever have a disagreement on, uh, on our lives, if we do lives because we're a team and uh, there's always going to be haters and the haters will eat on our disagreements. So we will not give them this joy, so to speak. But uh, we feel very confident um, in uh, that we can make this work. We want to make this work and we're happy again. And it sucked without Vanji and um, we will make another video where I will be talking about how to maintain a beautiful girlfriend, how to contain her, how to, you know, uh, keep her. And uh, it's not flowers and teddy bears, I can tell you this. So, but that's for another story. Are we going to make it this time, Manji? Let's hope so. I mean, relationships aren't perfect, you know. I'm not perfect, Christian is not perfect, so you guys are. You know, we have different struggles. And then, but just this time, I'm hoping to work it with Chris and try to work in myself, in which, you know, part I am very bad at, which is me being not communicative when it comes to, 
you know when whenever we fight i'll try to be just I'll... open just fucking talk talk to me right you just need to talk to me if we don't talk then nothing happens and uh, you can shout and you can scream but i don't it's, like shouting and screaming it's fine i'll take it i'm I super i'm mind. super patient with no. you i'll be even i have to understand that i have to be patient here but if there is no communication then there you know we're not moving anywhere it's just rottening so that was my big issue there and and i mean when i first met vanji the you know she loses her mood she can lose her mood to, on a shit day she can lose her mood three times a day but if we come out from that mood two three days or if every little argument becomes a breakup right then you know i'm getting dumped you know five times a week and that's just not how it's gonna happen for us it just won't happen like that and i am a very very bad beggar and uh I just don't beg now. So a man has to be willing to walk away, you know, and uh, that's what I did. And uh, hopefully we have learned our lesson now here. Like I learned my lesson that I don't want to lose my baby. And uh, hopefully Vanjie learned the same lesson. And, and uh, yeah, so this is how it's going at the moment. And we are not giving up on anything here and I feel that we're stronger than ever at the moment <laughs> so yes guys we're just processing a little bit slowly slowly day by day and we made this video for you all to know because you're our family here and we would like you to know some of the details about the update of double trouble in Asia and yes here we are again stronger than ever we're back bitches <laughs> <laughs> hey, and but moving on, like like I said, we're gonna take it day by day, and uh, if we follow these three simple rules that I made, I'm sure that we will be in a much much better and healthier place. And uh, like I said, we're gonna just in case go to couples counseling, maybe once a month. That really isn't hard for us. Let's see how we go. And uh, really excited to do take this YouTube now to another level as well because it is our little baby and. Um, and the ranch has done a really good job uh, building, especially the community of our channel. Um, and when you look at our history, obviously we, this channel performs by far the best when we are on it together. The videos were already getting over 100,000 views when we were together. Two brains is two brains and uh, Hopefully I appeal to the female audience here as well. I know that Vanjie appeals to the male audience here and maybe together we are the best combo. Not maybe, but uh, like 100% sure that us together is the best way to go. So we're looking forward to taking taking this YouTube channel to, uh, to another level now. And um, the first hard part is, is done. We are now officially YouTubers and well, a compliment to my baby here is that when we were starting this thing, me coming from an entertainment background, I knew that I can perform. I didn't know what Benji can do other than that she is a very gorgeous looking woman. But it turns out that she is, you know, a natural when it comes to entertaining and believe me i know entertainment talent when i see one i have expertise in oh, yeah. this and manji is a natural manji is a natural entertainer and uh youtube is more fun together so uh we're looking to take this youtube now to another step and uh, let's get a hundred thousand subscribes now and uh <laughs> my ultimate goal was always a million subscribes we're a long way there but we're on our way, we're on our way. The, All the way out. The, the hardest part of starting is definitely done now. And um, yeah, so all the way up. So yes, guys, also for today's video to start everything, you know, we start our new shit and stuff like that. We're going to the bank to, you know, to finally deposit our first ever joint account between me and Chris, because he said he don't like separate toilets what's his money is mine what's my money is his so you know 
example, it's like a wifey and husband. Na. <laughs> so, we're going to a bank right now and deposit our first money from the YouTube that we've earned and also some of his savings. Sure. I mean, starting this YouTube, I mean, this whole YouTube thing started as me and Vanjie seeing our friends Aaron and Jaja having success with their YouTube channel. And I told Vanji that, look, baby, I mean, if you wanna be together with me for the rest of our lives, then we need this YouTube thing and we need this to work. And, uh, and that's what we did. And that's what we're still doing. And uh, although we were not expecting any sort of money, for the first year from YouTube, yeah. not really. Then the big positive is that it is making us some money. Uh, obviously, we have a very strong uh, core group of uh, our, um, I would say, just sponsors and, and now friends, uh, which is a big, big surprise. But even our best video has made us around $400 already. So uh, I can totally just see- Just one video. That's our best video, but to get a hundred dollars from a video is quite common. Not every video, but I can only imagine those videos making every video making four or five hundred dollars in a year or two years time if we keep at it, keep working at it. So um, very positive about that one, and uh, yeah, plenty more to come. I will be in our future videos talking about a little bit man and woman um, relationship dynamics because uh, I come from a nice guy to a good guy it's a big difference I'll explain all of it to you guys in our future videos for adventure I want to do whale sharks which is very near here and uh, hopefully we can film them underwater and uh, I've done diving three times in my life. It'll be my fourth time. It's exciting. In Philippines, you don't need a license. You just tell the guia that I can swim and he's fine with that. And uh, yeah, let's swim with the whale sharks. Let's talk about a little bit about relationships and uh, not sure, but I've never been to Shergao. So would like to learn a little bit of surfing in Shergao. Let's see, let's see if we make it there. I'm gonna be here in Philippines for another two months and a week for now so plenty of time to make contact you okay baby yep so now i guess we need to go to the bank because 3 p.m they will be cut off and then i hope you guys will still support us and uh, thank you for the love and unending support and to my solid people thank you so much again guys welcome back daddy <laughs> and if you don't support us Get the fuck out of here. No. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Big moment, big moment for us here. As we just stepped out from the bank and um, while starting this YouTube thing, our one of our main goals was to make money with it and uh, save up and build the house without a bank loan. So happy and proud to say that we made our first deposit. Some of it was my own savings and uh, half of it was from our YouTube. And proud to say that the first deposit was a hefty one as well. Our plan was to save up a minimum of 5 million pesos, which is around $100,000. And the ultimate plan is to get 10 million pesos, which is around $200,000. We're a long way from there, but the first deposit was a hefty one, I would say. Uh, we deposited a million pesos, which is around 17,000 euros, maybe $18,000. It's a big number for us, and uh, we can say we're very proud of this, and uh, I'm very um, happy to say that YouTube actually is making a significant amount here as well for us. What do you think, baby? Happy? Proud? Yeah, satisfied? Um, as me personally, I love to save, you know, so I'm happy to be able to build uh, new savings for me and Chris 
And you know, guys, I want you to join our journey to, you know, make the goal one day or another, a few years from now, from this very stage. And we will never know what we will be building soon enough our dream house or dream life to be. And hey, like uh, one million is from the from the five million, it's twenty percent, and from ten million, it's ten percent. And for a first deposit, the first down payment, that's a big number. That's a big number. So I don't know when we will be looking to deposit again. Probably in maybe three months' time. The best scenario is we put another million down in three months' time. But we're not thinking ahead so much. So let's see. Happy just to get that one million in that or on that account.